Hi YouTubers, this is Zero Amps and today I'm going to show you how I fixed uh, this battery charger. My wife's uh, sister gave me the other day this uh, battery charger, yeah, and it's not supposed to work, yeah. It's for charging nickel cadmium batteries and nickel metal hydride batteries. You don't see nickel cadmium batteries uh, very often in the European Union because they were banned because they're toxic. In one of my next videos I can open it. Using this uh, battery charger you can charge two batteries or four batteries or you can discharge them. Here you can see parameters, yeah, input voltage is uh, 230 and there are two output voltages, yeah, for charging two batteries it's 2.4 volts and for charging four batteries it's a uh, 4.8 volts, yeah, and let's test it, yeah, so I'm going to plug into the mains and the power LED should be on, but it's not, yeah, unfortunately. Let's test it again with uh, my power meter and as you can see there is no power consumption, so my karma doesn't work this time and I have to get into it. If you want to get into this charger, you have to have a special screwdriver for that, yeah. I've seen this type many times therefore I bought it using the right tool is easy to get into it yeah <laughs> and here it is look how the main is connected to the board yeah why are these two pads this is a part of battery holder which is connected to the board Here you can see you can put it the AAA or AA batteries. So let's remove the board. And at first sight, it looks all right. I don't see anything burnt or damaged. Yeah, the other side is also good. As you can see, they use for changing voltage this transformer. It looks like linear regulation. When I look at it closer, there is a, some mess on the board, but it's nothing serious. Yeah. The rest of the board looks clean. Yeah. This one is a little messy but it's nothing serious the other side is also clean but let's clean it anyway yeah for sure The board is nice and shiny. I've done several measurements and look at this, yeah? This is a secondary winding of the transformer, which is alright. And this is primary winding of the transformer, which is open circuit, yeah? So let's remove the transformer. Okay, the transformer is out of 
the board. Now I'm checking the secondary winding, which is OK. And the primary winding is still open circuit. So it might be burnt, yeah? Look at this one, yeah? This is a big surprise. I checked the internet where they mentioned that uh, transformers could have uh, thermal fuse inside. And my transformer also have one inside. Look at this one. Yeah, I'm going to measure the primary winding after the fuse and the primary winding looks all right, yeah? So it means that only the fuse is damaged, yeah? I've bought these uh, three spare thermal fuses, yeah? And now I'm going to replace the old one, yeah? The thermal fuse is replaced and I put on it uh, this uh, thermal insulation and now I'm going to put all together. So I've put the charger together and now it's time for testing, yeah? So surprise, surprise, and the power light is red, yeah? It means that charger should be fixed. But let's test charging, yeah? On these four rechargeable batteries. But before testing, I need to discharge them via my intelligent charger, yeah? And then I'll charge them using the fixed charger so let's discharge the testing batteries yeah it will take several hours and after several hours all the batteries are discharged and now I'm going to put them to the fixed charger I'm going to test all of them yeah Because I'm going to test four batteries, I had to switch the charger to 4.8 volts, yeah. So it means that I'm going to charge four batteries. And after connecting to the mains, yeah, a charging LED is red. It means that the charger is still charging. And after some time, the LED is green. So it means that all our batteries are fully charged, yeah, and the charger is fixed. And that's it. I have to say that I really enjoyed uh, this repair and I hope you also enjoyed watching it. Yeah. So thank you for watching and see you next time.